good morning we are from svs embedded the project title name is called arm 7 based arm 7 based advanced smart car security system in this project we are using an arm processor lpc 2148 and one sim 300 and we are using an face recognition technique and we are using one gps rasta 634r gps channel and we are using an power management so we are using an 8 megapixel camera for a face recognition technique so we are using an matlab coding for a face recognition technique in this project so this is an hardware unit In this project, first of all, we are using a step-down transformer. It's a continuous power supply. So, 230 input step-down transformer, 9 volts output AC with 750 milliamp current. Why I was used uh, transformer means all the components are utilizing the high efficient current. So, it is consuming large amount of currents. So, if I using a battery, sometime it will be discharges. that's why i am using an transformer transformer it continuously generates an ac power ac power is going to the bridge rectifier so here we are using an bridge rectifier bridge rectifier it converts ac to pulse rated dc here i am using an 1000 microfarad by 25 volts electrolytic capacitor so this capacitor will eliminate the ac ripples so here i am using an 7805 regulator most digital logic circuits and processors need 5 volts power supply so here it is utilizing the uh, 5 volts and the buzzer is also 5 volts gps 5 volts relay 5 volt and gsa modem is 5 volt and the lcd is also 5 volts so at the end arm processor is utilizing only 3 pan 3 volts so here i am using an lm 3117 fixed 3.3 volts regulator i am using so after that when i am giving the power to this one so when i am giving the power to this one this red led will be on here also the led will be on so in our mo module so that here also that led will be on so all the power supply is connected properly so after that so i am going to the main module So this is an SVS embedded uh, development board, ARM7 development board. So here the ARM7 having total 64 pin IC Q dip means it's a Q dip IC, quadrupole dual in package line means Q dip means four lines. Q means four, quadra dip dual in package line. So here having total two ports. One is port to zero, another one is the port to one. Port to zero consists of zero dot zero two port zero dot thirty one total thirty two pin input output bi directional and remaining port one having total sixteen pins so it can execute sixteen bit architecture as well as thirty two bit architecture so it can send the thirty two bits of data at a time and it can receive the data thirty two bits of data at a time. So ARM seven LPC two one four eight ARM seven advanced risk machine seven is the version LPC low power consumption twenty one forty eight is the IC number. Here we have a two switch buttons. One is the ISP switch and another one is the reset switch. So when we want to restart the program, so this switch we have to press means LCD front side one switch that is the reset switch. So here. we have an a uh, 16 cross 2 lcd display 16 characters with the two line lcd display whenever we are giving the data to the arm processor to lcd lcd will display the data whenever we are giving the sms sms will be uh, displays when we are sending the data unauthorized or authorized it will be shows and here so we are using an crystal this is in the crystal quad crystal Here we are using a 12 megahertz crystal. This is the heart of the circuit for the controller to generate the clock pulses to the internal CPU. And here, this is a match 232 IC. It's a level converter, voltage level stabilization purpose we are using. 
and here this is an UART 0 and UART 1. UART 0 universal asynchronous receiver and transmitter it is sending the data to the GSM modem and it is receiving the data from the GSM modem and UART 1 is connected to the GPS and relay and relay it is acting as a switch so the GPS and the uh, camera both together will acting as a receiving so UART 1 is connected to the GPS and the camera so in between I am using the relay relay is acting as a switch to manipulate the both uh, from camera it camera will data after that the GPS GPS why so you know whenever we are sending the SMS to the GSM modem when we are taking the data onto the LCD after that we are switching the relay and we are getting the data from the GPS let us start from the working so first of all when I am giving the so here I am using the GPS Rasta 634R GPS channel 65 channel it can track the data from the satellite continuously and here I am using one alarm it is indicate as in whether the authorized or unauthorized it is an alarm and here we are using an engine this engine is acting as a vehicle engine when the vehicle is on the GSM modem will uh, uh, microcontroller will put to on and put to off so when I am giving the power to this one vehicle on when I am giving this all power should be on here we are getting some data arm 7 based advanced smart car parking system gsm modem modem is connected so here the led will be off means the gsm modem is properly connected so we have to wait for the gsm modem right so please send one vehicle on vehicle on so if we receive the sms from the vehicle on so it will show on the sms reading sms deleting sms deleted 9491 some number vehicle on latitude value and the longitude value displays valid validating sms vehicle on that engine is on so that sms vehicle on sms will be sent to the authorized person who is from this from the vehicle it will receive one sms that sms is called vehicle on they will got the sms from them so we will got the sms from this mobile vehicle on v vehicle started by authorized person from latitude point and the longitude point please stop it stop so we will we, we are sending one stop stop will indicate here so your vehicle is stop otherwise track we can track the vehicle stop the vehicle track sms reading sms deleting sms deleted okay stop that vehicle engine will stops okay sms sending to the particular person who is the authorized person authorized person will received one sms like your mobile is stopped at this location it's a latitude point and the longitude point it was displaced we will got one sms your vehicle is stopped at latitude point and longitude point please track send track sms why i am going for the two parts one is for the tracking part another one is for the camera part i will show the camera also next part okay we are tracking so we are sending the sms if unauthorized person will take this car we can track directly we can track so track latitude point and longitude point validating sms so the gps data is coming properly and we are sending the sms so now uh, now i am going for the latitude point and we will put one one receive that receiving sms is right we got one sms vehicle stopped at vehicle location vehicle location tracked at this position okay so we are going for the camera part so we will go for the camera part okay security uh, software switched face bin bin and 
this one. Okay, so we are going for the detect. Okay, now so it will show you. Okay, okay. Camera. Okay. Then authorized person will face uh, the image should be displayed onto the camera. The camera will recognize that face. That face we are sending the data. Ravin. So here is authorized means correct uh, <coughs> unauthorized person that unauthorized person will send the data to the particular <coughs> mobile number so if he is the authorized person that authorized person will get the data same to same so we will receive one sms from that mobile number so this main project is arm 7 based arm 7 based advanced smart car security system nowadays nowadays all cars are coming with face recognition thumb inspiration and alcohol detection so so we will go for the multiple option and we are sending the data to the GPRS through the web page so we are continuously getting the data onto the web page website where the vehicle is going so uh, so we can implement more op options uh, thanking you if there is any doubt uh, let me know to SVS embedded